Presentation of this program is made possible in part by a grant from General Foods Corporation and by public television stations and a grant from the Ford Foundation. by grants from McDonald's Corporation and McDonald's Restaurants Fund and the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. Here's a bow sent in by Pam Ceylon of Mandona, Illinois. Take a balloon and tie it around your waist and try to break it by sitting on it. No fear using your hands. Good luck. the people who live here. Later today, there's going to be a festival. We call it a feast. And I'm going to be an angel in the feast. Our family really likes to get together. And on feast days, we're extra close. The feast is a family tradition. When my mother was a little girl, she was an angel too. My uncle Jimmy teaches Italian, which is good because I don't speak Italian very well. How are you making out, Mary? Have you been rehearsing? Yeah. You know, Mary, the only thing you do wrong is you don't pronounce your accent. You don't give the real Italian. Say that. My boy, they. Virginella. Virginella. That's it. You better be as good as your mother was. She was fantastic. Just one more time. Ave. Ave. Pura. Virginella. 
del Señor. Tu fidel Angela. Again, Chela is up. But I got it right. Okay, I want to hear it good this time. Well, again. <sighs> One of the nicest parts of the day is that you see old friends again. Everyone comes back to the north end for the feast. I think the winds go the other way. Now. It does. Open your mouth. Uh. The way that the feast started back in Sicily was that some fishermen found this statue in the water. It's a real honor for the men to be able to carry the statue through the streets. grandfather wrote this speech years and years ago. It's supposed to bring good luck to the fishermen of the North End. It's really hard to be the angel, but I feel proud and I love doing it because I feel it brings all of us in the North End closer together. Sapphire is the largest sapphire in the world? Hey, wait a minute. Isn't that the whole diamond? I think you're right. You want to try something? Here's a song I like called Bow Constrictor, and I taught it to all the other Zoomers. Try singing along with us as we sing it. We'll put the words on the screen just in case you don't know them. I'm going to sing the first part, and after I say, oh no, everything after, oh no, you have to say after me. So I'll say, I say, oh no, then you say, oh no, then everything after that, okay? Mm -hmm. Got it? Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Got it? Got it good. Ready? Wait till I say, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I'm being swallowed by a boa constrictor. I'm being swallowed by a boa constrictor. I'm being swallowed by a boa constrictor. And I don't like it very much. Ready? Oh no. Oh no. no. He's well my toe. Oh He's my toe. toe. Oh gee. Oh gee. He's up to my knee. He's up to, up to my knee. knee. Oh fiddle. Oh fiddle. He's well my middle. He's well my, my middle. middle. Oh heck. Oh heck. He's up to my neck. He's up to my neck. Oh dread. Oh dread. He swallowed my rope. Swallowed my Go. One more time. One, two, three, four. I'm being swallowed by a boa constrictor. I'm being swallowed by a boa constrictor. 
I'm being swallowed by a boa constrictor, and I don't like it very much. Oh no, no fault. So he swallowed my toe. Oh gee, oh gee. Stuck on my knee, he's up to my knee. Oh my fiddle, oh fiddle. Swallowed my middle, swallowed my middle. Oh heck, oh heck. He's up to my neck, he's up to my neck. Oh dread, oh dread. He swallowed my toe. He swallowed my toe. How I friends? Subby Dubbus? Dubbus abas abe. Abba rubby, double rubby, no one's flower cover. Robin abba puppet if it abba love it dubbus. Abba can add snubbies. Subby dubbus snubbies of being power on tubber? Robot. Ha ha ha! Hava, abba follow Jobu. That's you! And now back to Zoom. <laughs>
as he sits? Yeah. As a matter of fact, did you know that the average person blinks his eyes 25 times a minute and each blink takes one fifth of a second? Yeah, I know. And then I'm going to tell you a story about it. But first, here's how to make the paper bow. And there's your paper bow. And now for the story. Once upon a time, there was a bow sailing along a rough and rugged shoreline. And this being a very boring trip, someone fell asleep in the wheelhouse and there was nobody steering the boat. And so our boat smashed into some rough and rugged rocks and the bow was torn off. And this being very springy wood, it bounced back in the water and hit some more rough and rugged rocks and the stern was torn off. By now, the boat was sinking fast and everyone was jumping off. And the rock that fell on the wheelhouse and crushed it flat didn't help any. And when the authorities came by in the morning to investigate the damage, all they found was the captain's shirt. <laughs> They say they do not want an outmaker on their team, but I play pretty good. In all the games I've played, I made seven homers, 12 triples, six doubles, and 16 outs. I have a mitt, a hat, a ball, and a shirt, sent in by Jenny Leibold of Glen Head, New York. That's good. Yeah. They should let her play anyways. Yeah, I know. Know. She's She's <laughs> Holy Bobby Riggs. Here's a good yep. one. No. Dear Zoom, 
I wrote this poem in school and I thought you might like it. The other day when I went to the park, there were many rides to see, but I took the ride that most interested me. It gurgled, it giggled, it jerked and it wiggled and it started off with a roar. I don't think I'll go to the park again or take that ride anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and that was sent in by Julia Muir of Monroe, New York. Yes. She probably yeah, I like that. That. <laughs> The Missing Neck was sent in by Phoebe Moore of Alpine, Alabama. One day, Mrs. Pig wanted her friends to come to a picnic lunch, and she sent each one an invitation. She made sandwiches and Kool-Aid, which she put in the thermos to keep it cold. Then Mrs. Pig put on her purple dress and her marshmallow necklace. Soon, everyone arrived. There were three turtles, a chipmunk, a sheep, and a cat all in their finest clothes. I like your hats, Mrs. Pig told her friends, and we like your necklace, they told her. Mrs. Pig and her guests had lunch in the yard, and when lunch was over, the sheep looked at Mrs. Pig and gasped. Your necklace is missing, the chipmunk said. I am a detective, and I will find your necklace. Then he turned to the cat and asked, what were you doing when the necklace was taken? said the cat. I didn't take the necklace. And what about you turtles? What were you doing when the necklace was taken? We were eating sandwiches. We didn't take the necklace, replied the turtles. The chipmunk turned to the sheep and asked, what were you doing when the necklace was taken? I was eating a radish, said the sheep. Finally, the chipmunk turned to Mrs. Pig and asked, what were you doing when the necklace was taken? I was eating marshmallows. I ate my own necklace for lunch. One more. <laughs> Dear Zoom, my name is Melanie, and kids often say, who's he? I like to be named Michael or Daniel, even if they are boys' names. Also, I have a nickname. I've been called Turkey ever <laughs> since one Wednesday morning in art when I drew a turkey. Do you have any nicknames? That was sent in by Melanie Fishman of Valley Stream, New York. <laughs> Last year in our school, the second to oldest class my sister was in, all the girls had nicknames. They all had weird nicknames. I have one nickname, I'm ashamed of. Michael, Michael, why is that dog? Michael, Michael, why is that dog? As a matter of fact, did you know that 1,500 ladybugs weigh about an ounce? Wow! If all of Boston were inhabited by ladybugs instead of people, you could carry them all in a 50-pound box. And move them to a New Haven. <laughs> Thank you. 
possible by grants from McDonald's Corporation and McDonald's Restaurants Fund and the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. Presentation of this program was made possible in part by a grant from General Foods Corporation and by public television stations and a grant from the Ford Foundation. Mm -hmm.